just a minute about networking. A lot of times you think of networking, it makes people uncomfortable. They think of it in terms of, you know, the glad, the glad handing guy, you know, get out as many business cards as you can. Here, take my card. And the whole time, they're not really thinking about the other person. Absolutely not true. There are people that kind of approach it that way, but they don't get it. Now, the person that does get it is that person, and they're always there. You, put, you don't notice them always because they're not stereotypical. They're the person that sits there, listens intently, takes the time to get to know what other people are about. Maybe, you know, instead of trying to get their business card in somebody's hand, they're collecting the business cards. Really want to, because they know that by having those cards, they have the opportunity to follow up with whoever it is they want to. And, of course, you need to be able to do that to create a real connection anyway. So, I want you to, next time you're in a networking situation, or, you know, in a, in a traditional networking situation, if you will, I want you to kind of notice the differences of those two people. And also, when you identify who those people are, do a little follow-up and notice, perhaps, how more effective and how more, you know, quote, successful they are compared to the people who are really just focused on themselves and get themselves out there. On the surface, it might seem like the person that's just focused on themselves, you know, does extremely well, but when you get right down to it and you start asking some questions, you'll find that those people might, might end up being the people who others really just want to get away from. Just not, no other way of nice way of putting it, but that's often the way it is. Whereas the person who, you know, takes the other approach and who really is others focused, if you will, is actually a person who others seek out to do business with. We Sometimes we think that that's impossible, but that's actually what happens. It happens a lot of different times. So notice those two different styles. And once you really do the research on it, look for ways that you can emulate the style the more of what I would refer to as the more effective networking style, being others. So let's talk about some of those those ingredients. You know, being other focused. You know, really from the very beginning, taking the time to learn about the person that you've met, learn about their business, learn about what's important to them, and then look for ways ongoing the way you can deliver value or where you, where you can deliver what they're looking for. Um, you don't know unless you ask. So really kind of focus that way. Believe me, there's going to be plenty of opportunity for you to share about yourself and your product and your service, but you got to get that connection down. So the way you get that connection down, again, being others focused, continuously focus on it. I like to think of it this way. Always put in more than what you expect to get out. If you do that, you'll find out that it all works out in the end anyway. So thank you again. This is Josh Hines. I hope you found this, these ideas helpful. And uh, remember, it's your life. Live big.